Dancing in the Moonlight by Top Loader. If you accidentally clicked on this thinking it was Thin Lizzy, I've done that one already, check it out. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description and in the top corner, but this is the Top Loader one. Dancing in the Moonlight. Quality song, same chord progression all the way through. And as a guitar player, if you have a capo, we can do something really cool, which is these little rundowns. And if you haven't done this with root notes kind of descending, essential song to learn. Let's have some fun and let's check out the chords to this one. Quick playthrough. That's the whole thing, and this is what I mean by these rundowns with the descending root note. That's the key learning point from this one. So the chords in this song are D minor, G major, C major, C over B, or C forward slash B, to A minor. And we have most of these for a bar. G for a bar, C for two, C over B for two, A minor for a bar. If you want to do anything cooler with the strumming, you might want to just go for a full bar of C, so kind of... That would also work if you're doing a bit more muting. It would make it a lot easier. But the main strumming pattern I would suggest we go for, just for strum, no muting, super simple, is down, 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 up, down, up. For example, down, 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 up, down, up. And remembering that, that on that last up, down, 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 up, down, up, it's best to actually fully lift off of this D minor chord and the G and the other chords as well to make the change. Down, 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 up, down, lift. That's the trick to this kind of thing. There's literally this chord. It's always on the and of four, it's on the and of two, and two, three, and four, and. In this case, it's always on the and of four. That's basically all the sections. We'll add a bit more to it, but let's have a strum and a sing first of all, like we were doing this at an open mic night or something like that. Any of you guys gone to an open mic night yet? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really wanting to support that kind of thing. I think it's really important. Let's play first of all, and then we'll join in with some vocals. In one, two, three, four. do that for the whole song. So what else would I add if I was doing this on one acoustic guitar at an open mic night perhaps? There's some mutes in the verses for example. Be doing something like that in the chorus. Mechanics wise, I'm adding some mutes. Like silence. I'm adding some percussive taps, particularly on this section. That is a strum, yes. But notice there was no, it's lost the. And if you follow my channel for a while, you know we get that by tapping our thumb or the pick itself, uh, whichever fingers are holding the pick. 
to the higher frets. The strings on the frets are what really make the tap. And you can add a little strum to that, but you don't drag your thumb down them all, otherwise you're going to really hurt your thumb. You just hit the strings onto the higher frets. And maybe then in the chorus dance. Just keeping it ringing out on downs and ups, but adding some, um... But there's some dynamics in how loud or, or quiet I'm actually hitting it as well. Can we play the melody? Let's have a look. So interestingly... The chord is D minor, but it runs up an F major 7. So it's kind of superimposing an F um, major 7 over the D minor, which sounds really cool. Of course, played on like piano and organ and stuff. A G note on the G, or a, uh, sorry, a D note, but a note of a G chord on the G. Slide up. One more time. Slide. That's Dancing in the Moonlight. Have fun with that one, guys. Let me know any other song requests in the comments below, and I'll leave some other songs you might enjoy on the screen now.